All right, another uh, class of drugs. So we've got the depressants, the CNS depressants, and we also have stimulants. Chances are that uh, you made, uh, you may or may not have made your run to Starbucks uh, before or during the day, and stimulants, caffeine is far and away uh, probably 90, over 90 percent of, of the American public are um, addicted to caffeine. And that is not only coffee, but obviously coffee drinks, and tea has traces of caffeine in it. And essentially, uh, it stimulates uh, and excites uh, neural activity, which usually translates into um, alertness, uh, concentration is increased, uh, um, body functions are also uh, activated and um, um, potentiated, if you will. So caffeine, um, and I, I probably don't need to say a whole lot more, uh, some of the major ones, uh, another major one on the market today that you see uh, people actually struggling with um, increasingly is nicotine. Um, it is probably the most um, addictive stimulant um, um, that uh, we know of or that has ever been created. Um, and you can tell that by uh, all the commercials you see with nicotine patches um, and so forth. And its impact partly because of when it's delivered through smoke, it gets into the system. Um, it gets into the system extremely fast, um, and it, it generally uh, will begin in adolescence, and you see a variety of, of um, influ influences and forces that, uh, uh, that impact um, uh, the start and the uh, the use of nicotine. So um, nicotine is part of the social context, which also is, is part of, for adolescents, that's a lot of times, well, it starts and that's, um, that's nicotine. All right, and the um, other one that I'm sure you probably have heard about is cocaine or crack, which is a, is a even faster operation. Um, and what you have with cocaine is a fast euphoria and an equally fast crash. And essentially that's part of what uh, makes it so addictive is that the person has to take another hit in order to avoid the crash. And that uh, heightens reactions there's a certain grandiosity, um, reactions are heightened and exaggerated. Um, there's a grandiosity and an invincibility that the person feels, and so a lot of times they'll take risks that they wouldn't otherwise take. Um, and the, the, the key with cocaine, at least, is how it's taken as to the effects it'll have. Um, there are a number of actors whose career has been cut short because cocaine has been um, mixed with alcohol, for example, which you have a, a stimulant and a depressant acting on one system. Um, the, the other one um, is, uh, is meth, and we hear a lot about that, in, in particularly in Colorado, it seems like we have a very high level of activity around methamphetamine. Um, it, it has even greater effects than just amphetamine alone. Um, it, it, triggers the, uh, it triggers dopamine, which is part of the feel-good kind of um, reward center, uh, and it, it um, stimulates to enhance energy uh, and, and mood. So uh, meth is another example of a um, stimulant that uh, is extremely powerful when people are looking for reasons to um, get away from it all, if you will. 
Now, a couple other things which I, I neglected to add in here. I think clearly, uh, and I didn't mention specifically, is amphetamines themselves, and they are um, uppers uh, that people use. Uh, sometimes you, you'll see them to uh, stay awake. Um, the the high that is experienced because of uh, energy and um, endurance that are part of that come into play as well. And amphetamines and methamphetamines are uh, devastating drugs. You see a picture in your book on, um, on page uh, 122 where you see a woman who uh, is at 36 and just four years later uh, the effects that methamphetamine has, which um, the the thing that you will notice with meth is the effect on teeth. Um, you see how poorly her teeth have, de or how her teeth is, have de deteriorated. You see the uh, skin and the impact on her skin. Um, you, you see impact even on her hair and, and it, the effects that the drug has. Now, um, methamphetamine is, uh, ha really has a devastating effect to uh, the person's um, overall well-being, which goes without saying because it's a drug. Um, the last one is, uh, that I want to mention is ecstasy. Um, we, it's MDMA. And a lot of times, for a while, it was kind of the club drug um, to enhance experiences. Um, and uh, sometimes it was even uh, a date rape drug. Um, and MDMA um, uh, is uh, the, the kind of drug that... Um, uh, has this devastating, like I said, it, even with some of these other ones, obviously, but it has this incredible dehydrating effect. So if you think about it, if it's taken at a, um, at a club or a party, what are people mostly drinking? Alcohol. Um, they add in an amphetamine that has a dehydrating effect, and before too long, um, you, you have uh, somebody who's... Um, uh, re releasing most of the, the um, um, fluid in their body, a lot of their fluid in their body through urine, um, and then you have this amphetamine that adds to that effect, and the person gets incredibly dehydrated uh, and overheated, and you have increased <clears throat> blood pressure and uh, heart rate, and uh, oftentimes that leads to death itself, and that's why you hear about some of these uh, deaths created or um, attributed to um, attributed to uh, MDMA or ecstasy.